Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you know why we pulled you over today? Exactly. It's because you're not subscribed. So you better fix that right now. Or we're gonna have to take you in. Uh, this is an interesting topic coming in from Bloombog, our friends over at Bloombog. Um, they have uh, they have been saying this for uh, uh, a week now, uh, that Apple is planning a new hardware subscription for iPhone and iPad. Uh, people are going wild, people are losing their mind, some people are very upset, some people are very happy. Um, and I'm kind of in the middle, I feel like this is great uh, for a certain amount of consumers that just want to lay some money down for a, an iPhone, pay for it up front, get the new iPhone, be happy with it, and then do the same shit all over again for next year. Because they just want to have the latest iPhone, but they also do not want to pay like, I don't know, 1200 euros for it like every single year, either because they don't know how to save money, <laughs> uh, um, or they just do not care about it, right? Um, uh, do not care for saving money. That's what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, I mean, fun. It's it's not much different than just a phone plan, right, from a carrier. Although this is directly with Apple and you won't, you probably won't get cellular service from Apple. Um, maybe you can get that subscription in the store as well if you want to. Um, but... Yeah, I'm I, I'm not completely sure. I'm not completely sure. But anyways, let's just uh, give Sharon the stage, and she's going to talk about uh, Bloomberg's report. Uh, no, wait, <laughs> a 95 Max report on Bloomberg's uh, report about Apple planning new hardware subscription service for iPhone and iPad. Let's get it. Bloomberg: Apple planning new hardware subscription service for iPhone and iPad. Apple is planning a major change for how customers buy hardware products, starting as soon as later this year with the iPhone. According to a new report from Bloomberg, Apple is planning to let users buy iPhone and iPad hardware similar to paying a monthly app fee. The new program is described as Apple's biggest push yet into automatically recurring sales. Apple currently allows customers to finance nearly any hardware purchase in the United States using its Apple Card product. The company also operates the iPhone Upgrade program in partnership with Citizens Bank. The iPhone Upgrade program allows customers to get a new iPhone every 12 months. This new hardware subscription service could launch as soon as later this year, with the report saying it is expected by the end of 2022 or in 2023. Yeah, I mean, it's it's it kind of makes sense, right? Especially with the Apple Card as a service as well. Uh, you might get uh, um, something close to an iPhone as a service, right? Uh, or hardware as a service. I feel like a lot of companies are already uh, supplying uh, Apple hardware as a service. In the Netherlands, we have a couple of companies doing that. Uh, Apple premium resellers doing that. So it kind of makes sense for Apple to do that. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed that it is probably going to be connected to the Apple card because the Apple card is something that we're probably never going to see here in the EU. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe, <laughs> maybe someday. Um, maybe it's going to come to the UK and I will be able to get it because I do have my UK settlement scheme still. Um, for some reason, since I, I, I mean, I've been living here in the, in the Netherlands for a really long time. Um, but, uh, I still have my, uh, my UK uh, settlement scheme. Um, maybe because I just earned too much for them to let me go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, anyways, but yeah, I just hope they disconnect it to the Apple Car product because that is, um... That's going to be a problem uh so yeah uh, for for international release so i i don't know i i just i i feel like it's kind of it makes um it, it it makes a good argument to have this uh this whole uh, subscription plan and um hardware as a service and whatever yeah i i see i see the i see the uh <laughs> you guys man I would get I could I would get myself uh, on that sub like I uh, sub to first clicks yeah 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 well I sure hope you are subbed because like if you're not subbed then um, I can't talk to you I, I will literally will smit you if you do not sub to the stream and uh, to the uh, uh, YouTube channel 
You fucking piece of slime. This yeah. new hardware subscription service could launch as soon as later this year, with the report saying it is expected by the end of 2022 or in 2023. The service would be Apple's biggest push yet into automatically recurring sales, allowing users to subscribe to hardware for the first time, rather than just digital services. But the project is still in development, said the people, who asked not to identify because the initiative hasn't been announced, Bloomberg News reports. This new hardware subscription service could tie into Apple One Bundles and Apple Gear. Currently, Apple Gear and Apple One exist independently of each other. You do, however, get Apple Gear when you buy an iPhone through the iPhone Upgrade program. The program would differ from an installment program in that the monthly charge wouldn't be the price of the device split across 12 or 24 months. Rather, it would be a yet-to-be-determined monthly fee that depends on which device the user chooses. The company has discussed allowing users of the program to swap out their devices for new models when fresh hardware comes out. It historically releases new versions of its major devices, including the iPhone, iPad and Apple Watch, once a year. Yeah, I feel like that it, it, it makes sense for these products to have a, a solution like this and probably for the business people uh, to have something like this for the Mac Pro or something like that. Um, because they don't release one every single year, right? So it makes sense. Um, I'm not sure if everyone is going to use it. Um, I, I certainly think some people will get on it. Um, 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 for, for a multitude of reasons. Obviously, I was joking about people not being able to save money. Um, for some people, it's just something cool to have. Like, uh, as a service, they don't have to think about it. They just see, uh, uh, like a, like a seller subscription. Uh, they see the money being written off their, their bank account. And at the end of the year, they get a new iPhone. So it, it makes sense. It makes sense. Um, so yeah, uh, there's a market for it and, um, it should definitely happen. And obviously Bloomberg is not the only one reporting on this. There are multiple people saying there's now multiple sources. So I would say that, um, it's getting more and more, uh, likely that something like this is going to happen someday. Um, they also, I feel like Apple bought a, uh, um, credit checker in the UK probably for something like this or maybe apple card nobody knows um but yeah it does make sense and uh yeah especially like if you look at um trade-ins apparently it's it's quite big um 30 percent um of what as soon as we'll compare any subscription program here i'm not sure whether 30 percent is off but anyways um, probably just of, uh, of finance of, uh, of coming in penetration rate. Okay, cool. So yeah, I mean, uh, it makes sense, right? Because like it, it could also help with recycling if people, uh, maybe get some extra value back, um, when they, uh, I don't know, probably they will have to bring the phone back at the end of the year. Um, and maybe if they get some e extra value back, uh, to, to keep the phone as clean as, uh, and, 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 and functioning as possible, um, that would be cool, an extra incentive to be able to uh, to get the phone back in a working state, uh, refurbish it and sell it again uh, would be would be great for uh, uh, for the environment as well. So, yeah, I feel like there are multiple um, multiple good reasons for Apple to do this. I just again, I hope they disconnect this from the Apple card um, because otherwise this would just be a US only thing. And that's crazy. I mean, that would be that would be a shame um at least for now right maybe they are going to expand the uh, apple card uh service but i i, I wouldn't i wouldn't yeah i wouldn't be too <laughs> i wouldn't wait for that i wouldn't hold my breath for that Let, let's say that right let's just keep it at that and yeah that's um yes i would for sure yeah i mean a lot of people would right this is not something that is going to be exclusive to just some people and um this is, this is something that a lot of people are going to uh, want to get subscribed on. Uh, and especially now that so many people are saying that this is going to happen. I feel like it probably will. Uh, maybe even uh, uh, something that could... Yeah, it could just... It could be in the Apple One subscription, maybe even. It would be cool. 